So he asked Aaron to be the speaker. And look, he's coming out to meet you, and when he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. These are the words of uh, God to Moses. King David was angry. In 2 Samuel 12, 5, uh, God had sent a prophet to accuse David. And the prophet's name was Nathan. So David's anger was greatly aroused against the man, and he said to Nathan, As the Lord lives, the man who has done this shall surely die. And he shall restore fourfold, fourfold for the lamb, because he has done this thing and had no pity. Because King David had stolen another man's wife. And arranged for that, um, that brother, the king, sorry, had arranged for her husband to be killed. God turns from anger. In Psalm 78, 38, But God, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity. And did not destroy them. Yes, many times he turned his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath. He's talking about you and me. For God remembered that they were but flesh. <coughs> A breath that passes away and doesn't come again. Cain was angry. Genesis 4, 1 to 2. Adam knew his wife, uh, sorry, knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain. And said, I've acquired a man from the Lord. And then she bore another son, this time his brother Abel. But Abel was a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time it came to pass, Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock. And of the fat, and the Lord respected Abel and his offering. But he didn't respect Cain and his offering. And this is the first instance in scripture of uh, a man being angry. Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why has your countenance failed? If you do well, will you not be accepted? So here God is trying to reason with Cain. And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. You 
Sin lies at your door and its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. So this is an important scripture here to understand anger. It wasn't that uh, Cain uh, was angry, but that he allowed sin to come. Satan was waiting. And he seized the opportunity. Took advantage of Cain's anger. Now Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. And the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? Why did Cain get angry? Let's have a look. He felt rejected. He felt abandoned. Cain did not control his anger. Cain killed Abel. God controls his anger. For example, Psalm 103, 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger. And abounding in mercy. Uncontrolled anger. Genesis 49, 6. Let not my soul enter their council. Let not my honor be united to their assembly. For in anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they hamstrung an ox. So you can see in this scripture that um, the anger led to sin again. Cursed be their anger, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. An angry person doesn't mature emotionally. They get stuck in this emotion. Anger is expressed in a person as cruel and fierce. Anger is a spirit and is cruel. This this propensity to anger can descend down your family line. So sometimes you need help. Yes. We all need the help of God. It's a toxic emotion like fear and bitterness. It can affect your health. Okay, now I will talk about humility. Humility is the great antidote to anger. Humility is choosing to be less. Humility is choosing to think of others as